Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about the beginner's guide to podcasting for churches. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily. This is the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're going to get a daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we try and navigate the biggest communication shift that we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man. It's Brady Shearer. And today, we're talking about a beginner's guide to podcasting for churches. On episode number 97 of Pro Church Daily, Alex, we talked about how podcasting for churches, not just your sermons, but actually native podcasting, kind of like what we're doing right now, is just a huge opportunity for churches, especially with younger people. This course led to some questions, well, how can we get started with podcasting? And so we wanted to offer up Pro Church Nation three simple steps, a beginner's guide to getting into podcasting. You know, we talked about on that episode, not only are so many people listening to podcasts, but churches are positioned (laughs) very uniquely in this space because more um, Christians are listening to podcasts uh, on average than than people who don't identify um, as a Christian. And so we we really are uniquely positioned in this space to with, with, with a, a great audience, um, and you know it's 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 such a, a timely medium. You know, we you can take podcasts wherever you go, yeah. where wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you're doing, and we have this message that we get to share um, at any time. And so there are new creative ways that we can do it, and this is how you can get started. Let's first talk about what we're actually using right now, Alex, because people are surely interested in yeah. that. These microphones that we're recording into right now are. Heil, H-E-I-L, Heil PR40 microphones. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the pinnacle, the peak of podcast microphones. You definitely don't need one of these to get started. They're about $400 each. Uh, We're recording right now into the video camera that's shooting uh, shooting the video portion of Pro Church Daily, the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K. So we're actually XLR plugged right into that directly from these mics. In the past, we've used uh, actual dedicated audio recorders mm-hmm. such as the sound devices 702 i've also used uh, the behringer xenix q802 usb when i was recording directly into my computer okay. into the imac because that's the thing with an xlr microphone like this you need an xlr input yeah. to actually record it so i would use a usb mixer like the behringer xenix q802 right. plug the microphone into the mixer mixer into the computer yeah it can be a lot more simple than that of course. to get started. So we're going to give you the three steps to getting started with podcasting. The first step is the recording source itself, the microphone. What I would recommend is the Blue Yeti microphone. Mm-hmm, classic. It's about $100. It's a USB mic, so it can plug directly into your MacBook, into your laptop, into your desktop computer. It's also portable. comes with a stand built directly in. Yeah. Our microphones come just as a mic. We had to buy separate stands. The Blue Yeti stands on itself, and it also has a number of different pickup patterns, mm-hmm. so you can change the pickup pattern of the microphone to set up for dual recording, yeah. two people. Right. You can have single directional recording, and it has a number of different options that it gives you a handy guide kind of showing you which ones you should use as well. The second option is if you want to go mobile and record directly on your mobile device, we've used the Shure MV88 microphone before. Okay. So it has a lightning port, can go directly into an iPhone. It has a num- number of different versions to plug into different phones, I believe, as well. And this is great for recording directly into your phone if you're just on the go. Maybe you're yeah. not recording two people like we are. It's just a single person podcast like so many are. Just plug it into your phone no matter where you are. Pastor, you've got a brief exactly. thought. Record that. That's a podcast. People want to hear that. The MV88 by Sure, it's about $150. Perfect for that. And it comes with a free mobile app from Sure as well cool. to optimize your sound and to actually help with editing within the app itself. And then you can publish directly from there as well uh, if you care to do so. I think that one's such a great solution for pastors. You know, we talked on episode 97 about uh, three kind of new creative ways that you could use podcasting to, to reach your community with this message of Jesus. And one of those ways was like an off the cuff, very casual, like uh, 10 minutes or less similar to Pro Church Daily episode from your pastor about like, you know, what's going on in his life? What did he learn today? How, how did he fail today? You know, like just this real life stuff, this invitation yeah. to, to pull back the curtain. And so it's perfect to, to be on mobile wherever you're at, keep it in the car. And, and you know, when somebody cuts you off and, and you have a very divine thought about them, instead of a, instead of a not so divine thought, you can record that on your phone wherever you are and share that with your people and, uh, and really invite them into that, you know, that daily life that we're all living. So 
I, th- I think that's a really cool opportunity. And what's great about the Blue Yeti as well as the Shure MV88 is that both plug directly into a recorder that you already own, yeah. a computer or a mobile device. Normally, like our mics, you have to plug them into an external recorder and then get that into your computer. It's one extra step. These simplify the process, make it easier. Awesome. So that's the first step. Step number two is, well, step number one is the recording source. Step number two is the editing software. So you can use GarageBand on Apple for free. Yep. You can use Audacity on Windows for free. Uh, we use Adobe Audition, which is great. If you already have the Creative Cloud from Adobe because you use Photoshop or yep. you edit videos through Premiere, you've already got access to Audition. It's pretty user intuitive. You could use that. That would also be free if you have an existing recording, uh, sorry, a subscription with them already. Mm-hmm. And another tool that we use after we actually export from Audition is a tool called Auphonic, auphonic auphonic.com. And what's great about Auphonic is, in their words, they analyze your audio and do whatever is necessary to achieve a professional quality. So because we're recording with two people, Alex and I, sometimes Alex's voice is quieter than mine or vice versa. And there's a lot that goes into making sure that you deliver your audio at kind of a same level. Like we've all been in the car when one podcast goes from another or even worse, when you've got headphones in, one podcast goes to another and you're like, oh, my goodness, my ears hurt so much because the previous podcast was so quiet. You turned it down and then someone with an actual good podcast came in and like you said, RIP headphone users. Yes. So Auphonic, what it will do is it will intelligently level your audio. It's going to normalize the overall loudness of your podcast to deliver so that it's going to be the same loudness as all the other podcasts that have professional audio engineers. You can also add metadata here, which is perfect for adding the album artwork and the description and the composer and the year, which all shows up in the actual podcast hosts like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and those other places. Uh, And it also has optimal encoding for making sure that your file size is small. You you don't want to send a 320 kilobytes per second giant audio file through podcasting (laughs) because it's just voice. You know, 64 or 128 will be fine. Auphonic can do all of that. We use it for every single podcast. This tool is awesome. It's kind of just like magic. You know, you do your best yeah. in, in in these other programs where they're using Audition or whatever. And, and we've got presets and auditions. We throw them on and we, we do our best to, to manage the audio. And then we throw it in on Phonic and just click the button. And, and it, it it comes out better than than we, you know, ever ever could have made it. And and it really is that that final touch, that magic touch that, um, you know, without using it, you could think, oh, well, this audio is fine. But after you use it, it's like, Oh yeah, this is a, a much better listening experience. And and in my personal experience, you know, if I'm listening to a podcast and the audio quality is not great or it's peaking or there's, you know, th- things just aren't quite where they should be, um not only is it like disengaging for me, but it also may hinder me from revisiting yeah. that podcast another time. I have so many podcasts I'm listening to. You got to kind of like reach the mark for me and and audio quality is one of those things that I mean it's an audio medium and so you 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 really have to be excellent um to 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 c- convey that message to your listeners to keep them engaged, to keep mm-hmm. them coming back and listening. So this is one tool that's just going to put that that final touch and really help you out. Third and final step to delivering your podcast is the hosting and sharing process. You've exported your audio. It's on your desktop. It's in your My Documents. How do you share it with the world? Well, you need a podcast host. There are websites that can automatically create an RSS feed for you. You know, Maybe you're using a website provider that offers that as a service. That might even be something we add to Nucleus in the future. But even if we do, I would not recommend using that. I would recommend using a dedicated podcast host. The company that we use is one of the oldest in the business, Libsyn. Yep. It's short for Liberated Syndicate. It's L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. And for as low as five bucks a month, they're going to host your audio, create an RSS feed. And this RSS feed is the single URL that you give to Apple Podcasts, to Spotify, yep. to TuneIn, to SoundCloud. Not SoundCloud, that's a dedicated host. Yeah. Um, But that RSS feed is the actual URL that you submit to all of these destinations where you want your podcast to be listened to. Libsyn's also going to give you analytics. It's going to allow you to publish your podcast, schedule them. It's just a more robust platform. It's incredibly affordable. Oh, yeah. I really see so many churches skimping on here and trying to save that five to 10 bucks a month. And I understand why. I just don't think this is the place to do that. Get a dedicated podcast solution. 
Final tool, I'll get in really quick, is Smart URL. If you go to ProChurchDaily.com, you can see this tool in action. Basically, it creates a single landing page where the user can choose, where do I want to listen to this podcast? Mm-hmm. Where do I want to subscribe? Somebody wants to listen to Apple Podcasts, their native app like me. Someone else wants Spotify. Someone else wants TuneIn. Someone else wants Google Play. Someone else wants SoundCloud. Someone else wants YouTube. This compiles every single destination for your podcast in one beautiful landing page. Yeah. And that way, the user can choose where do I want to subscribe? You can create a single URL like ProChurchDaily.com. And now anytime you give a call to action for your podcast, you can just say, go to ProChurchDaily.com and subscribe. And now you're not limiting that to just right. Apple Podcasts, let's say. Now the end user is the decision maker and they can choose where they want to listen. Awesome. That'll do it for today's episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video. We appreciate it. You know what else we appreciate? Subscriptions. Subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video. And did you like this video? Because if you did, why don't you let us know by giving the like button a smash. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another one.